Why, hello there everyone, my name is Adam Maripos Vox, welcome back to another OBS multi-platform or OBS studio tutorial. This is a part of a very big collection of tutorials I'm doing, so make sure you check the links in the description below. There's going to be a ton of them, to a ton of awesome resources including the playlist which contains all of these tutorial videos, as well as our own Twitch channel where you should come follow us and show us some love and check out our live streams and things like that. So a specific link in the description below you're going to want to find in this video is actually to a browser plugin for OBS Studio. Now, the normal plugins for OBS do not work in OBS Multiplatform or OBS Studio because it's a different program. But there is a browser plugin similar to the CLR, CLR browser. You're going to want this for the purpose of this tutorial. So download it for your platform. I'm using Windows. Download latest. And then it says extract to the root of your installation folder. So you're going to need a program like WinZip or 7-Zip or WinRAR. 7-Zip is my favorite, which I will also post a link to. 7-Zip. It is free, it is open source, it's totally safe, and it's very, very useful. And it's just a, a program that will open up zip files and RAR files and things like that. So we navigate to my downloads folder and find the OBS browser.zip. Double click that to open it up in your program and then go over to your OBS installation. So we're at C, program files. And if you're on 64-bit, it's going to be program files 86, even if you're running the 64-bit OBS. We're going to find doo -doo -doo, OBS-Studio and then just copy this folder in here. It's going to put it in the OBS plugins folder. And once it's done copying, you're going to have to approve it with the security prompts. If you have security prompts enabled, click continue. And once it's done copying, you're good to go. And then you're going to, if you had OBS Studio open, you're going to want to close it and relaunch it here. So once that opens up, go ahead and go to your sources, click plus, and see if you have browser source here. If you do, you're good to go. If not, you screwed something up in the installation of that plugin and probably need to figure that out. So restart at step one. <laughs> but assuming you see browser source here, you are good to go, and then we're ready to start this video. This video is on setting up follower alerts and Twitch alerts, or follower alerts and subscriber alerts and donation alerts and all that jazz to pop up on screen and say Ebo's Vox has subscribed to your Twitch and blah 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 has followed your Twitch blah 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 has donated a bajillion dollars to your Twitch. The easiest and most effective way I've actually found to do that is with a program called Twitch Alerts. It's over at twitchalerts.com. I will post a link in the description below. Log in and approve it to connect with your Twitch channel. Now this of course only works with Twitch. If you want to use it for YouTube gaming or something like that, you need a whole set of different set of programs and I'll maybe cover that in a future video, but I don't like using them, so I'm going to stick with Twitch alerts for now. Twitch alerts will show you stats over the past 24 hours for your channel or 12 hours for your channel. It'll show you recent follows, subs, and donations. So there are my recent follows. I haven't streamed in a couple days, but I'm still gaining followers for some reason, so that's cool. It'll show your donations. I have no donations. For donations to work, I will go ahead and make a note. You have to set it up through Twitch alerts and they keep a tiny percentage. That's no problem to me. S subscribers. I'm not partnered, so I don't have any subscribers because I'm not a Twitch partner. You do need to be a Twitch partner to have subscribers. You can set up donation settings. The only donation method is through PayPal at the moment, or I think you can set up credit cards as well, but I have PayPal set up. And then you can set up a suggested donation, but a minimum amount. So I have a minimum of $1, but a suggested of $5, and then set up a donation menu and all that jazz. We're not going to go into most of these details. Mostly what you want to look at here is alert box. And then here, you can set up your settings. So you can set up the layout of it. I have an image next to the text. You can do an image on top of the text. You can do just an image underneath the text. How much delay between someone following and the alert popping up you have and the background color of it in case you need to green screen it. Then you have different settings for your follow, subscription, donation, and hosting. So we're going to do a test follow alert here, and the same thing applies to all of the other three. Now again, you choose your layout, and you choose whether or not they're enabled or disabled. Mine is an image over top of text. And then you add custom sounds and images if you like. You add the text formatting here, and so the bracket name is going to pick up the username and then you put is now following or whatever you want to put. I have is now following. I'm going to add an extra exclamation point. You have different animations you can choose from. All of these animations will affect how the text pops up on screen. Same thing with how it gets off the screen. Pretty cool. I'm actually going to do bounce out. 
fade in, bounce out. Then text animation, which it shows you an example of here. It kind of bounces around with rubber band. You have all of these different options. You also have pulse. Pulse is kind of cool. I like rubber band. That's what I'm going to choose from. Then you have an image that pops up. Pops up. You can use GIFs. However, you, you may want the GIF to have a transparent background so it doesn't overlay your stuff. You can upload images or you can add in a link. I have a link to my image and that's what I use. Same thing with the sound. It'll play a sound. I have different sounds for each one and I have set up a sound. Then you can set up the sound volume. I have mine turned down a bit so it doesn't over just destroy the stream with an overly loud sound and how long it lasts. The default is eight seconds. That's what I leave it at. That's what I'm comfortable with. You can also change the font. I'm not gonna mess with that. But here you have lots of font options, font size, font weight, what actual font it uses, the color, etc. You have lots of different options to set up a really cool follower alert. And then you can add different variations. When you're done setting that up, hit save settings. It's going to, well, save your settings. Then you can set up subscription alerts, etc. Now, once you are done, you with all of these settings, you will want to launch this box right here. It's gonna pop up a browser window, and once it's done loading, it's gonna have a green screen for your follower alerts. If you do not have a browser plugin, you can still do a window capture and green screen it, and I will show you that right now. So I'm gonna leave this window here. I'm gonna to go to OBS. I'm gonna add window capture alert. It automatically picked up that window, but if not, choose the right one. It'll be called alert box widget, and then you have that jazz, click OK. Now to get rid of some of this extra stuff here, you're gonna to wanna to right click it, go to filters. So we're gonna right click, go to filters, we're gonna add, we're gonna add a crop, click OK. And then you can start cropping off the top. And you can see it slowly crop that off and just crop it off till that title bar is gone. Then I'm gonna add another filter. We're gonna add color key or chroma key. We're gonna add color key. I believe that should be what we need. It's gonna do color type green. It already picked it up. Look at there, it's transparent. All right, sweet. That's all we needed. So, and then we're gonna go back into settings and turn off capture cursor. That way it never shows the cursor. Then we just kind of put it here. And then I'm going to pull my window over here so you can see this. I'm gonna hit test follow alert. Boom, look at that. Now it does look a bit funky because it is green screen instead of just showing it. So that's why you don't really want to do that, but if you don't have browser plugin, you can do it that way. The cooler way to do it is to not do it with window capture. Instead, we're going to do it with browser source. So we're going to go to add new source, browser source. We're going to call it alert. Click OK. And then you're going to want the URL. For the URL, we're going to copy this URL right here. Then in our browser source option, we're going to paste our link. And see, so you're going to it's going to show it here. We're gonna click okay. Drag it over here. And again, I'll pull this down. Test follow alert. Boom. It shows it and it looks a lot better because it's not green screening, it's just showing the text. And then you can resize it and just put it over top of your stream overlay and you're good to go. And that's just freaking awesome. All you need is a URL and it does it because Twitch alerts is amazing. They have similar things for donation goals. You can have a donation go widget, which will overlay on top of your stream, a donation ticker as well, which I had set up originally, and lots of awesome stuff. But that's how you do your basic follower alerts, is you just have it do that. And it's just going to automatically, as long as you have that browser source on top of your stream, like if we add it here on top of our face, add browser source existing alert, that way we don't have to keep messing with it. Choose alert, click OK. Now it's just automatically... Whenever someone follows, it's automatically gonna display it over top our stream. Pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. So this was a bit of a longer one, but this was how to set up and install the browser source plugin, which you can also use to just overlay random websites if you like anyway, and set up Twitch alerts for follower alerts, subscription alerts, donation alerts, etc. I can go into the full overview of Twitch alerts itself if you like in a dedicated video, if there's enough comments of it in the description below, or comment section down below. There's a lot of different alert, you know, blank alert programs. There's sub alert and things like that. And there are some that work with other apps like Hitbox and YouTube Gaming. I don't know if YouTube Gaming's set up yet, but there's at least the Hitbox one with sub alert. But this is the easiest to use one 
for if you're just streaming to Twitch, and I absolutely love it. So that's the one I recommend, and that's what I'm showing off in this tutorial. I do hope it was helpful for you. If it was, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Be sure to stay around for more awesome videos. Check out all the links in the description below. Check out our own Twitch page over at twitch.tv slash ebosvox. Come give us a follow. Come give us a subscribe. And check out our streams. This video is brought to you by Tunnel Bear. Tunnel Bear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. Tunnel Bear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.